Welcome back to the last and final installment of, do we know what the name of the series is? Basically where we break down matchups, rivalries, give a bit of context, make it all a little bit more interesting. You get it. But this is the recap of the 2023 AVP season. There were a lot of memorable moments this season. Despite the three storms hitting Manhattan Beach, Atlanta, and of course, New Orleans, this was the 40th anniversary of the AVP and it did not disappoint. Let's kick this recap off with the comeback of the decade. The number one seed Betsy Flint and Julia Scholes lost in the first round of the 32 team Manhattan Beach Open, which had never happened before in the history of this event and then come back and win the entire thing. Just to reiterate, never has a team, let alone the number one seeded team, lost their first match of even a 16 or 24 team main draw and come back and win the entire tournament. Never. <laughs> Moving on. Since August of 2023, Taylor Crabb has been 0 and 7 against his brother, Trevor. He'd gone an entire year without beating his brother. As a younger brother myself, damn Taylor, I feel you. In the quarterfinals of Manhattan, Trevor continued the streak by bouncing the Taylors out of the winners and into the losers. But Taylor and Sander dig themselves out of the trenches, dangle the carrot, and stop the Trevor Crab dynasty, winning their first ever Manhattan Beach Open and keeping Trevor from winning his fourth Manhattan Beach Open. I mean, you can't script this sort of stuff. You just can't. Two miles south in Hermosa Beach, Megan Rice, who previous to this tournament hadn't made it out of a single qualifier, teamed up with Savvy Simo and went undefeated until the finals. Megan Rice was the go-to partner for some of the top main drop players for the rest of the season. Betsy Flint picked her up for Atlanta, Brooke Bauer in Manhattan, and Emily Stockman in Chicago. What a year for Megan Rice. And let's not forget Quiggle and Schumerhorn winning their first AVP in Hermosa, beating the Cinderella squad of Megan and Savvy. And they were the sixth seed in the tourney, the lowest seed to win an AVP event this season. <laughs> Alisson and Alvaro, two Brazilian legends and 2020 Olympians made their AVP debut. Alisson, despite not qualifying in the Huntington Beach Open, he led the AVP in blocks per set. We had the opportunity to witness two of the most decorated beach volleyball players in history, namely Alisson and Phil Delhauser, go head to head, not once, but twice. The 12 year old in me never would have thought that I'd be able to see these two legendary players play against each other live in person, and it was absolutely amazing to Now on to the hyperspeed adoption of jump setting on the beach and going over on two at ridiculous proportions. Like everyone is doing it. Well, the game has changed. But the players are the same. Oh yeah. I mean, Andy Benish was a middle blocker back in college and Miles Partain ended the year ranked number two in hitting percentage with all the over on two shenanigans, but it worked and it's still working. John Hyden and Emily Stockman's retirement. The retirement of the ageless John Hyden, the guy who played in two Olympics before our little brother was even born. Hyden played indoor volleyball for the USA in the 1996 and 2000 Olympics, then made his way to the beach where he remained for 22 years, ending his career with 15 AVP wins. His verse coming back in 2005 with Mike Lambert, he was back-to-back -back King of the Beach champion in 07 and 08, and his final AVP title in 2018. In Chicago, Emily Stockman also played her final match on the AVP. In 2009, she made her debut on the AVP in the Manhattan Beach Open, losing in the qualifier. That marked the first and only time in her 10 plus year career that she did not play in an AVP main draw. Pretty impressive. Emily, Hayden, we're gonna miss you guys. Now, it wouldn't be proper of me to end this recap if we didn't give you something to look forward to in 2024. One thing 2023 deprived us of 
was the much anticipated matchup between Miles and Andy and the Taylors. They never played each other the entire season. The two men's teams to win two AVP titles this past season. We didn't get to see it. And guess who's back? The Olympic gold medalist, Alex Kleinman. She picked up Haley Howard for a few international competitions, but as we all know, a lot of things can change between now and May of next year. Speaking of, a lot of players are on the market, free agency, whatever you wanna call it, but only time will tell to see who ends up with who in the never ending dating game of beach volleyball. So that's it folks. That's your recap of the 2023 AVP season, the 40th anniversary of the AVP. Jam packed with underdog stories, comeback wins, Cinderella moments, historic rivalries in the making and everything in between. That is shaping the 2024 AVP season to be quite interesting. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. And that's a wrap. That's a wrap.